Hi, welcome to In and Around Computer. In this video, we are going to see the congestion control techniques in computer networks. Congestion in networks occurs in cases of traffic overloading when a link or a network node is handling data in excess of its capacity. So there should be congestion control to prevent this. So this congestion control refers to techniques used to control or prevent congestion. So this uh, congestion control techniques are of two types, open loop congestion control and closed loop congestion control. We can see what is a open loop congestion control first and this these are policies uh, which are applied to prevent congestion before it happens and this uh, is handled either by the source or destination. So uh, the con congestion control policies that are uh, that are done before the congestion happens are termed as this open loop congestion control. There are various policies adopted by this open loop congestion control and we can see them one by one. First one is the retransmission policy. This policy is adopted in the retransmission of packets and if the sender feels that the uh, sent packet in the network is lost or corrupted, that, that particular packet needs to be retransmitted. So this is the um, uh, general uh, thing that occurs in the network and this uh, uh, retransmission of packets may increase the congestion in the network. So to prevent such uh, congestion, this, uh, in, uh, this retransmission policy is adopted where the retransmission timers can, are designed to prevent congestion so that uh, we can optimize the efficiency. So, so far we can say that for a particular time the retransmission uh, sh should occur in the network so that uh, it will relieve the uh, relieve the, this retransmission timer can be a uh, solution to avoid congestion in the network and next policy is the window policy that's this uh, that is the type of window maintained at the sender side also can impact the condition in the go back and window that is uh, there are some policies in the network uh, that are um, followed for for re for the transmission of data from one for this from the source to the destination so where the several packets are recent even if some have been successfully received by the receiver this uh, duplication can worsen the condition to, so to reduce this, uh, consider adopting the selective uh, repeat window that is uh, which retransmission uh, which retransmits specific lost packets and not transmitting all the uh, packets. The next policy is the discarding policy and these are adopted by the routers that is uh, the routers may prevent the condition at the same time partially discard or the corrupted or less sensitive packages and are able to maintain the quality of messages uh, quality of a message that is uh, in the case of audio file uh, transmission the routers can discard uh, less sensitive packets uh, to prevent the congestion uh, thereby maintaining the quality of the audio file so uh, so these uh, routers uh, will uh, prevent the congestion at the same time uh, by uh, maintain the uh, quality of transmission so like this this uh, discarding policy works and uh, Next is the acknowledgement policy. Uh, since acknowledgements are also the part of a load in the network, this uh, this acknowledgement policy imposed by the receiver may also affect congestion. The several approaches uh, can be used to prevent congestion related to acknowledgement. That is, the receiver should send acknowledgements for n packets rather than sending acknowledgement for a single packet. So, in such a way, uh, the congestion is reduced used uh, by sending acknowledgements for a group of uh, group of packets and uh, this uh, the receiver should send an acknowledgement only if it has to send a packet or a, uh, a timer expires like this way the uh, acknowledgement policy works next is the admission policy 
in uh, in admission policy a mechanism should be used to prevent congestion that is uh, uh, the mechanism can be like that this uh, like this that is switches in a flow should first check the resource requirement of a network flow before transmitting it further if there is a chance for congestion or there is a congestion in the network the router should deny establishing a virtual network connection to prevent further uh, congestion so like this the admission policy adopts a mechanism to prevent uh, uh, prevent the congestion next we can move to the closed loop congestion control these are techniques used to treat the congestion after it happens so the uh, here are some techniques that are used in condition uh, closed loop congestion control that is first one is the back pressure that is uh, uh, in back pressure is a technique in which the congested node stops receiving packets from the upstream node that is uh, this may cause the upstream node or nodes to become conge congested and reject receiving the data from the above nodes so uh, back pressure is a node to node congestion control that uh, that propagates in the opposite direction of uh, congestion uh, the opposite direction of data flow so this is applied to the virtual circuit where each node has information of its above upstream node here in this diagram we can see the uh, third node is the congested uh, um, uh, congested node that is uh, that the, this third node is congested and stops receiving packets as uh, as a result we can say the second node may may get uh, congested that is uh, since there is a slowdown in the uh, slowdown in the output uh, data flow that is the uh, if uh, since this third node is congested it will stop uh, receiving the packets uh, this result uh, uh, in a congestion for the second and first node that is similarly first node may get congested and inform the source to slow down so so the uh, congestion propagates uh, in the uh, opposite direction of the data flow that is a data flow from first second third and uh, so the direction is this forward direction but this uh, back pressure in the back back pressure technique when the congestion occur at a node this uh, uh, stops receiving the data so that creates a pressure for the um, nodes before that so uh, so this uh, congestion reaches the uh, first node uh, that is near to the source that inform the source to slow down so in such a way this technique works next technique is the choke packet technique here uh, the choke packet is sent uh, by the node to the source to inform it of the congestion and each uh, router monitors its uh, resources and utilization at each of its output lines so whenever the resource utilization exceeds the threshold value the router directly sends a choke packet to the source giving it a feedback to reduce the traffic so the intermediate nodes through which the packets has uh, traveled are warned about congestion so the choke packets travel to the destination uh, source uh, informing all the other uh, nodes uh, between the source and the uh, congestion uh, congested node to warn them so in th that also in turn wants the source to reduce the uh, traffic so this is how this choke packet technique works you can see it clearly from the diagram and uh, next is the last one the last technique is the explicit uh, signaling and here if a node experiences a uh, congestion it explicitly sends a packet to the source or destination to inform about the congestion the difference between the choke packet technique that we saw earlier and the explicit signaling uh, is that the signal is included in the packets that carry data rather than creating a different packet in the case of uh, choke packet technique so in the data itself the, the, uh, the this uh, this signal is included that wants a condition 
So, uh, rather than sending a different packet where in the case of uh, choke packet technique, this uh, uh, can uh, occur in both forward and backward direction. In the forward signaling, a signal is sent in the direction of congestion. That is, the destination is warned about the congestion and the receiver in this case adopt policies to prevent further congestion. And in backward signaling, the signal is sent in the opposite direction of congestion. That is this here, the source is warned of congestion and it needs to slow down. This is, um, the, this uh, you can understand it clearly in this explicit signaling. Hope you have some idea about the congestion control techniques. Subscribe to my channel if you feel contented.